What has uh, Chris Olave done particularly well? It seems like even with injuries, the flu and everything, he's, he's kind of playing his best football when, when he's on the field now. Yeah, I think that uh, the, um, the connection between her, him and uh, Derek has been uh, really, really um, been in, uh, you know, something that's really been thriving the last uh, few games. I think that's gotten uh, better as the season's progressed. And I think that uh, really he's making the most of his opportunities. Uh, he's finding, you know, open windows, getting open and, and making, uh, you know, making some of those tougher catches for us. What is the trait that, that makes him so good at kind of getting that extra yard of separation at the end of runs? Yeah, I think he just has a, a natural feel. Um, for how he has to, doesn't necessarily have to do it how, how it's drawn on paper, but just kind of knowing the feel of what's around him, who's around him, and then his ability to really to separate, put his foot in the ground, and come out of it. Yeah, I think, no, listen, uh, we never lost confidence. He never lost confidence. He knows he's got the uh, capability to make plays when he has those opportunities. So I think that uh, that's something that's obviously uh, been going well with, the, with that group. Yeah, I think there's uh, uh, did we limit what we were doing with him? No, I think there was a lot of communication throughout the week with the head coach, the training staff, and just uh, making sure that uh, we were getting him to where he needed to be for the game. And I think that uh, uh, there was really nothing that we felt hindered him throughout that. Pete, you battled it just kind of put your finger on why the run game is run maybe a little inconsistent? Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, obviously it was something last week that uh, wasn't good. I kind of, th I think it put us behind the chains a couple times and then uh, got to the point now where we were down and kind of had to get away from it. But I think that, uh, again, you know, it's back to a new week. Got to make sure we're doing the right things, doing the things that uh, our guys are good at and putting them in the right position for that. So I think that, uh, um, you know, last week we just, a couple times where we maybe just, Miss blocking a guy, or uh, you know, looking at the the scheme of what we're doing, we just got to make sure all that's uh, up to par. With wanting to get your run game going and looking at who you guys face this week and Devin White, how do you prepare for somebody like that? Yeah, I think this is obviously a team that defends the run really well, and I think that uh, you know Doug and Kevin are putting together um, you know a good game plan, making sure that the players are comfortable with the schemes that we're uh, running and making sure we're all feeling good about it and going out, practicing it, and then by the end of the week, deciding which ones you know, we feel real strongly about. Specifically with Devin Wade, what does he do well in taking away that area? That yeah, I think that he's obviously instinctive. I think he obviously does a great job studying film and kind of knowing maybe possibly, A, what's coming, but he, that he also does a great job uh, tackling. I think this whole defense plays fast, physical, and I think they tackle well. and. Uh, starts with him. Pete, with the Juwan, obviously he's had a couple nice games here. Why did you get took him uh, so long to kind of get there? Is he dealing with injury or anything? Uh, yeah, part of it might just be opportunities. Obviously, he missed some time with the injury. Um, some of the things that maybe we were doing in protection, but I would I would agree with you right now. He's playing fast. Um, quarterback has a lot of confidence, and he's making the most of his opportunities. We've asked this a number of different ways over the years, but just with Taysom Hill, I mean, it, it seems like there's a direct correlation between when you guys are down, the Taysom plays get abandoned. What what makes it so hard to keep using Taysom Hill run plays when, when you're not ahead on the scoreboard? Yeah, I think that you go back and look at how many plays we had prior to all of a sudden we were in a, a two-minute hurry-up type of offense. I think, that obviously, you got to give credit to the Rams. They did a good job. Uh, in the couple opportunities that he did have. And so I think that part of it is, is play calling, getting in a rhythm where you're maintaining some longer drives and then having the ability to get him out there and uh, do some things. So I think that, again, that you come away last week and the first thing I think about is, is didn't get him enough opportunities. And so that's probably on me as a coach and then uh, probably on us executing and sustaining drives. When you go into one of these rematches, obviously, this is about as far apart as they could probably get from week four to week 17, you know, maybe a couple more weeks. But is that kind of a unique thing where you're looking at it like this is what they did in week four, but so much has changed? Well, I, I, I think that uh, obviously, yeah, a lot has changed. Sometimes um, maybe some personnel is changing. Maybe, you know, who played in the last game, who didn't play in the last game. I think that uh, uh, you're not only going back to just really the previous game. Maybe you're going back to, you know, things that you've done over the years. 
uh, when you've played against a similar, you know, the same defensive coordinator, I should say, uh, with the head coach there. So I think that, uh, you know, there's obviously a familiarity with the personnel a little bit more uh, because you've seen those guys a couple times before. But I think that uh, you're still doing all the preparation, seeing what they've been doing. Maybe, you know, what have they been doing the last four games that have, you know, they've been playing really well. So I think uh, it's just probably more of a personnel type of deal where you have the f more familiarity. And I mean, how have things stood out over the last four in terms of, you know, obviously they had that long stretch, I think they went one and six. Well, obviously, uh, the one thing, you know, you see them just playing fast physical, uh, really doing a nice job versus the run. Um, on the back end, just getting hands on a lot of balls. They, uh, I think they're five and forced fumbles this year, but you're seeing it all in film. Just going, in, going back to the run game, is, is there anything you guys can do with, like, the scheme to get Alvin maybe more space to work with, or is it more of just, like, execution that, you know, kind of... Probably, just... probably a little bit of both. Probably a little bit of both. I think that, uh, yeah, obviously, space is his friend, uh, but I think that... You know, sometimes it might also be scheme related as to what you're seeing defensively, uh, maybe to protect certain things. You put the Winfield in Tampa. Is he kind of rare just in his ability to get the ball out? It seems like every time I turn around. He's rare. Yeah. And he's, I mean, there's a lot of things that he does well, uh, even just when you're talking about him pressure, you know, pressuring, blitzing, uh, and like you're saying, taking the ball away, getting the ball out. I think that he's obviously a guy that's a, you know, a challenge for us. Did you have to be prepared for that specific aspect of this game going into this? You know, like yeah, I think that uh, really, uh, you know, something that Joel talks to the guys about every week. And when you're talking about uh, guys that are taking the ball away and showing highlight reels for them and, uh, you know, not wanting to be on his highlight reel. Okay. See you all later.